This content is brought to you thanks to the people at Batman using Darth Vader's lightsaber to fight Jaws. Uh, definitely check out the community because there are lots of fun people there. They enjoy fine things. Uh, today I'll be looking at a song by Jack Stauber called Words of Wisdom. Sometime meaning is packed into a song with care and grace, and sometime meaning is intentionally devoid from the song. Whether a creator chooses to do one or the other is irrelevant, though, because the listener is ultimately the decider of the meaning. In 2019, Jack Stauber released Words of Wisdom on YouTube. Known for his meme-worthy recordings and avant-pop style, Stauber's work is easy to listen to and often comes off as funny or comical. This might convince the listener that there's no real meaning behind the music, and perhaps that's true. But due to the composition of this song, we find something meaningful inherent in its very creation. The absurdist expression of this song is immediately apparent, as Stauber recants the opening of Paul McCartney's Let It Be, which this song takes its name from by shifting to the line before the original titular phrase. And he exchanges the word mother for brother, saying, Brother Mary comes to me. This is spoken over the iconic chord progression from McCartney's song. According to Paul via the Salt Lake Tribune, Let It Be came to him in a dream about his deceased mother telling him he was going to be okay in life. Stauber abandons any notion of this meaning by applying the song as a backdrop for his reference of the song and in a way making it more pop than it already, has, it already was. To be sure his audience doesn't mistake his intention, Jack presents the chorus with some quick and seemingly pointless pop culture references. Paul McCartney, hey, John hey, Lennon, hey, Mac and Cheese, hey, hey, John Lennon, hey, Paul McCartney, hey, Mac and Cheese, hey, Hamburger, hey, John Lennon, hey, Mickey hey, D's, yeah, yeah, Hamburger, uh, John yeah, Lennon, uh, Mickey D's. Obviously, Paul and John are mentioned by direct reference because it's a Beatles song. But what's important about this reference is that both members wrote most of the Beatles songs, with George and Ringo lending a hand fairly infrequently. The two had a known rivalry, which is highlighted by John's comment about Let It Be via interviewer David Sheff, where he said that the song has nothing to do with the Beatles. No, it could have been Wings, right? Lennon's sentiment isn't wrong, as Paul has said himself the song comes from a personal experience in his life. However, the deeper politics between John and Paul take a back seat in Words of Wisdom, because mac and cheese. It is intentionally off the mark as a point, of, as a point to avoid the seriousness of the source and say, this is just a silly little song to listen to. The second half of the chorus trades out Paul for hamburger, and the mac for Mickey D's, all of these references are considered American fare, or part of United States culture. Mac and cheese, hamburger, and Mickey D's being commonly analogous with American imagery both in and outside the U.S. And these are because the products have been homogenized into readily consumable form, just as Stauber has done with Let It Be. Sticking with the reference to John Lennon could be a nod to his interpretation of McCartney's song. It certainly doesn't mean as much to Jack as it does to Paul. But for a quick and catchy tune, it does just fine. To borrow John's words, it could have been Wings. Jack is telling us that it could have been him too, and so it is. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, Thank you to Mamelia for suggesting the song. Thank you to everybody. 
And if you'd like to research, if you'd like me to research a song for analysis, you can request it with channel points on my Twitch channel. And thanks again.